Hey, my name is Lucas, and I'm an engineer with Keysight Technologies. Today, I'm going to be using this 82357A GPIB to USB converter, the 34461A digital multimeter, and I'm going to use this adapter to connect the instrument to my PC, and then we're going to discover the instrument in NI Lab View. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do uh, to interface our DMM with the PC is make sure we have IO Libraries Suite downloaded and installed under our PC. Uh, the version that we have for the purposes of this video is IO Libraries 17.0. IO Libraries is a version of Visa uh, and Visa allows you to uh, connect with different types of test and measurement equipment. So if you have different requirements for different installations of Visa, like IO Libraries, or NIVisa, or the two together, you can refer to the linked FAQ. Uh, that has some additional instructions for different types of installations, but since we have IO Libraries installed, uh, now we're going to switch over to Keysight Connection Expert. And this program allows you to see your instrument uh, when it's been connected, so what I'm going to do is plug the USB side of my GPIB to USB converter into my PC and then uh, Keysight Connection Expert will discover the instrument. So let's rescan. Great. So there is our 34 461A digital multimeter. So we can see that it has uh, GPIB address 22. And uh, one last step that we'll want to do in Keysight Connection Expert before we go to LabVIEW is click on this settings tab. Click on Keysight 488 options and make sure that this checkbox is enabled. Uh, it might not be enabled with a default connection expert uh, installation and you have to make sure it's checked so that you can see your Keysight GPIB connection uh, in the NI LabVIEW software. So, so we've got that connected and now let's switch over to our LabVIEW. Uh, let's just open up a blank project and we'll show you how to confirm that your instrument is usable in LabVIEW. So if you go to the tools an instrumentation drop down menu and click on find instrument drivers. This little tree diagram will show you whether or not LabVIEW can see your instrument and then you can import it into LabVIEW and you know, control the front panel with different LabVIEW commands and there it is. The uh, 34461A that we connected just a few minutes ago is showing up in LabVIEW and that is the process. So today we used our 82357A GPIB USB converter to discover our 34461A DMM in NI LabVIEW. If you have any other questions, you can reference the links in the description or you can visit us on keysight.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.